Hey everybody, it's Carissa Brown here and today I'm going to show you how to do a Santa's hat. So I've got my nail stick, I've got a small striper brush, a dotting tool, my silicon stamper and a few polish colors. I've already put on the champagne toast onto my nail stick as a base. I'm just going to set these aside and first I'm going to grab my silicon stamper and I'm going to grab my white so I'm going to use lovey-dovey on this one. I'm just going to give it a quick little roll and then I'm going to put it on my stamper. Brush a bit across, of, across it. Once I've done that, I'm going to grab my nail stick and I'm simply just going to push it into that polish color so that it comes down to the sort of the same idea as a French manicure would. Once I've done that, I'm gonna give it a cure. Now that I've cured that white, I'm going to do the exact same thing on my silicon stamper again with, I've used this time, strawberry daiquiri. I've cleaned my stamper off by just dabbing it on some paper towel and then grabbing some tape and wiping it across there to clean it off. So same thing, I'm now gonna grab my nail stick and I'm gonna push it in the same way, but I'm not gonna go down the entire way that the weight is. I'm gonna leave it so that it's Santa's hat trim. I probably should have painted a little bit further across on this, on the stamper, but I didn't, so now I've just gotta move it around just a touch. Once I'm happy with that, I will pop it in and cure it. Now that that's cured, I am going to do two little drops of the colors on my silicon mat here. I'm gonna do a little bit of the red and a little bit of the white just to finish off the Santa's hat, the bit that comes down or up. <laughs> So two small dots. Now I'm gonna take my, I like to use the really fine striper brush, the detail brush. Um, just, I find it so much easier to maneuver polish and keep tidy and clean while I'm doing this. So I just want his hat to come up and flop a little bit to the middle of the nail. And you can make his hat however you want to. I just like that little bit of a curve to give it some fun character. And I'll just fill all that in. And once I'm happy with the shape of that hat, I'll cure it again. Now that the red's cured, I'm going to put the little pom-pom on the top of his hat. So I've grabbed a pretty large dotting tool and I'm gonna pop it in the white. And I'm just going to do it on the tip of that hat to the size that I'm happy with to give him his pom-pom. Once I'm happy with the pom-pom, I'll just pop it in again and cure it. Now that that's finished, I'm gonna speed it up a bit here. I'm just gonna seal it all in with the Clearly Frisky to keep it nice and smooth. Then I'm gonna cure it. And as you can see, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know.